Imagine spending weeks just reading and summarizing research papers for literature search, writing research paper, a review or a thesis. It is tedious, time consuming and incredibly frustrating. What if I tell you that you can do it all within a few minutes? What if you can summarize not just one but multiple papers at once, compare their finding, get a synthesized report and get explanation of complex figures and much more. Being a researcher, I know how challenging reading research papers can be. That is why I am super excited to share this tool with you. And I want you to stay connected until the end as I will be sharing some useful tips throughout the video that will make your research a lot easier. Hello, I am Dr. Abhishek and you are watching Explore Bio where you find videos related to academic writing, publishing and AI tools that can immensely help you in your academic and research journey. You can check out my playlist and subscribe if you think this is relevant to you. Now without any delay, let's begin. This is the simple home page of Sci Summary, where you will find options like home, library and different tools. To summarize, click on add articles. There are several ways to add articles. You can directly import from Zotero's library which is a great reference management tool, add a link to the paper or upload the PDF. Here I am uploading the PDF of a paper. Once the PDF is uploaded, you will see it on the left and the summarization options on the right. You can see different summarization modes like summarize by section, summarize whole paper, summarize with area of focus and others. You can also adjust the length of summary. Here I have chosen to generate a summary of the entire paper in about 400 words. Within a few seconds, it has generated a well-drafted summary. Just by reading this, one can get an idea about the background of the paper, the purpose of the study, important findings and conclusions. This would have taken me at least an hour to do it manually. You can paraphrase and regenerate the summary to change its tone or vary the details in complexity depending upon your understanding and usage. While reading, you often come across difficult to understand terms. For instance, here if you want to know what protein-protein interaction is, just select the text and ask it to define the term. It will provide a short definition of the term and explain it to you in the context of this particular paper. All the definitions you search for will be summarized in a table that can be copied or downloaded. Similarly, you can select the text or write it in the text box and choose expand upon option to get a more detailed explanation in the form of a paragraph about the term or the concept. It elaborates the selected term or the concept in the context of this paper which helps in understanding the paper better. Using the action menu, you can easily download the summary in various formats. You can also share it with your colleagues or even add it directly to your Zotero's library. Instead of spending hours trying to understand a particular figure, size summary can give you clear explanation in seconds. You can simply click on explain or ask a particular question. For example, here I have asked you to explain figure number one. It will consider the legions of the figure if it is there and the overall context of the paper and provide a brief summary of what this figure is all about. Now, I asked a very specific question about a graph shown in panel C of figure number 1. It says the graph illustrates the correlation between growth and different environmental factors and how these factors play a critical role in initiating bamboo growth. Such kind of explanations can literally help you understand the figures better in the context of the paper. Now, if you want to find other papers that are related to this particular paper, whether for a literature review or writing papers or thesis, Sci Summary provides you with recommendations for further reading. You can click on an individual paper or read more about it by visiting its official site. You can get summaries of papers shown in the references. Just import and summarize a particular paper and set the parameters. Remember that some papers like non-open access papers may not be summarized. With this paper too, you can use all the features mentioned here. Let's explore another incredibly useful feature, the chat function. Using chat, you can ask any specific question related to this paper. You can also choose from several predefined questions that you can regenerate. Let's ask it a custom question. What is the role of humidity in regulating bamboo growth? It will analyze the entire paper and provide a synthesized answer to your question. Below the response, you will find the page number of the research paper referred for generating this response. You can also take down the notes for a particular paper using the notes option. Now let's see how to summarize multiple papers all at once using the bulk summarizer feature. For uploading research papers, you can use any of the methods I mentioned previously, but I prefer uploading the PDFs. Here, I have selected 5 research papers related to bamboo growth that I want to summarize at once. Here, you can define summary type and the length of the summary. Once the papers are uploaded, you can start summarizing. 
On the left, you will find the PDFs of all the papers and on the right panel, you will find the summary status. You can view the summaries of each paper as we did when summarizing the individual papers. Now let's try different types of summarization modes. Here I have chosen to summarize by section. But for this, the paper should have clearly defined headings. You can customize the summary length and which section of the paper to be summarized. Summarize by section can help you quickly grasp individual sections, including the abstract, introduction, methods, results, and their subheadings. Now let's try summarize with area of focus, for instance, environmental signaling, and I want about 250 words of summary. Such kind of summaries are much more focused on specific aspects of the paper rather than covering the entire thing. This way, you do not have to scroll down through the entire paper as you get summarized only what you want. You can also get summaries as key bullet points for a quick overview of the entire paper. If you are a beginner and find it difficult to understand scientific language, you can choose the simplified summary option. You now get easy to understand summaries. Now suppose you want to know what is the future scope of the work based on this paper. To do that, you can change the summary mode to opportunities for future research. You can also choose from dozens of available languages to get summaries. For example, here you can see summaries in Spanish and Hindi. All the articles you upload becomes visible at your home screen. You can select one or more papers and add them to a specific folder. You can also use different summarization options. Here we want to get a combined summary after processing all the selected papers. Next, choose the summary length and click on start summarizing. This might take a few minutes depending upon the number of papers you have selected. Here is a combined summary of all the five articles. After analyzing all the five papers on two different bamboo species, it mentions the role of different environmental factors in hormone signaling in regulation of bamboo growth. Thus, if you want to get just an overview of multiple papers, the combined summary feature can save a lot of your time. You can adjust the summary length to get a detailed report. You can also check out the individual summaries it has generated to get detailed insights into individual papers all at one place. This can really save a lot of your time. Now let's try to compare multiple research papers. You can adjust the summary length and also choose a specific focus area like environmental signaling and growth and start summarizing. Based on the focus area we have provided, you can see how it has generated a comparative report considering different papers. And at last, it provides a concluding paragraph of the conclusion of the comparative studies. Sci summary also allows you to chat with multiple papers at the same time. Just click on multi-article chat and you can add papers already there in your library or upload them. Here we have selected five papers from the library that we will be chatting with. Submit the papers and click on start chat button. You can ask your questions by typing here in this chat box. For example, here I have asked what is the role of calmodulin in bamboo growth. It will refer all the five papers and generate a relevant response. Calmodulin is involved in calcium signaling, transducing signals which is essential for cell division and shoot growth. This way you can chat with multiple papers too. You can generate an abstract for your research paper or thesis by uploading the entire document. You can also copy the entire text into the provided box and submit it. Within a few seconds it will generate an abstract. After reading it, I can say it generates a good quality abstract that covers a brief background of the study, focus of the study, key results and application of the work. You can review the abstract and edit it as per your need. You can also discover papers on a particular topic and apply filters like publication year, field of research and type of publication. Here you can find a list of all the papers relevant to the topic along with abstracts. You can also import papers to your library from here. You can refer the user guide to learn more about size summary, its features and usage information. Let's have a quick recap of several amazing features of size summary how it effortlessly summarizes multiple papers and their sections, and compares them, provide necessary and quick explanations of figures and text you find difficult to understand, allows you to ask a specific question using chat feature, generate abstracts, get summaries in dozens of different languages, and even suggestions for future research. This way, the time saved reading and understanding papers can instead be used for critical thinking, analyzing, and writing better literature reviews, research papers, and thesis. With these many features, I think you should give Sci Summary at least a try. If you find it useful, you can upgrade your plan to access its premium features using the link given in the description. And do not forget to use the discount code to get 25% off. Also, do comment below which of these features you find most useful. Thanks and I will see you in my next video.